Hello CSN and aspirants, hope you are doing well. This video is all about answering one of the most asked questions for CSN net preparation that is the CSN net age limit. Age limit for CSN net life science preparation and age limit for male and female students for CSN net life science preparation. And a simple question is that will it make any difference if you qualify in your first attempt or you qualify in your last attempt? I'll answer that as well. Boss a loka can I? कि मैं पांच अटेम्प्ट दे चुका हूं नेट नहीं मिला अब सिक्स अटेम्प्ट में अगर मुझे नेट मिलता है तो इंटरव्यू के टाइम पे कोई दिक्कत होगा या नहीं द आंसर टू दैट विल बी गिवन हियर द आंसर टू दैट इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड टू मी देयर शुडंट बी एनी डिफरेंस एंड एक्चुअली बाय रूल देयर इज नो डिफरेंस सीएसआर नेट एग्जामिनेशन इन सीएसआर और यूजीसी दे डोंट हैव एनी रूल रिगार्डिंग हाउ मेनी अटेम्प्ट यू आर टेकिंग फॉर क्वालीफाइंग द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन क्वालीफाई द एग्जाम इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट यू कैन क्वालीफाई इन द 10th अटेम्प्ट doesn't matter only matter is that you qualify for the cut off of grf qualify for the cut off of ls or not that's all okay for ls the cut off limit the age limit is lifetime so we are not going to bother about that so age limit for ls is lifetime so any time you can appear in the examination for ls csn and ls and you can qualify but for grf there is a age limit strict age limit for general category sc st obc ws pw category we are going to talk about all of them in this particular video so to me particularly if a person qualifies in the first attempt the person is good is a genius intelligent will hire them and if a person qualifies in the sixth or seventh attempt still i'll hire them you know why because the person attempted six times means think of one idea the person never lose hope he attempted attempted and again and again and again he attempted fall and again put itself back and again attempted repeatedly until he or she succeeds so i will keep that person in the same range of a person qualifying in the first attempt because he never lose hope he or she never loses hope and that's most important thing it's not important that how much you get hit but it's important that how much you take and move forward remember the speech of rocky balboa that was the speech it doesn't matter how much you are down how many times you are down but what matters you stand up again even after 99th time you are down you stand up if you qualified after 6th attempt in the 7th attempt that means you are closer to qualify in the 6th attempt every single attempt you do you are getting closer to your goal not everyone comes with the same brain with the same quality of training with the same quality of exposure with the same quality of their background but still everybody has a right to reach the pinnacle of success and that's most important thing so here we have the age limit what we have we have category we have age limit for male we have age limit for female for ls category lectureship the age limit is lifetime so we are not bother about that so we are only discussing about the age limit in the jrf category junior research fellowship category and here we we'll begin with the general or unreserved category an unreserved category for male the age limit is 28 years for female it is 33 years actually for female in any category that is general unreserved obc sc st ews pwd all the category female age limit is 33 years if you are a female your age limit is 33 years irrespective of your category but for male general category age limit 28 years obc male category age limit 31 years sc st both have age limit of 33 years for male pwd category again age limit of 33 years for male ews category for male age limit is 28 years so for male the least age limit is 28 years highest age limit is 33 years 33 years are for sc st and pwd category obc category 31 years and general and ews category 28 years for male this is all about the male age limit for csi net for female the age limit is 33 years for every single category no matter whatever category you belong okay and imagine one idea there a person after msc what is the age generally what is the age so think about the normal age uh, scheme here right so we have 18 years after plus 2 then 3 years 
21 years for graduation, 2 years, 25 years after MSc. Generally, if you don't have any lag, any lag of years, so 23 years at the end of your MSc. So from 23 years to your age limit 28 years, every single one of you, even after qualifying MSc, will have 5 years to appear and qualify CS and examination. Believe me, 5 years is a lot of time to qualify CS and net. If you seriously study, one year is enough to qualify. And let's say six months is a preparatory phase, so one and a half year is enough to qualify any category for CSI net life science. CSI net, any, any life science, chemical science, as such, any kind of CSI net division. It's easy, it's how easy it is. You need proper guidance. That's five years you'll get after MSc. But for other categories, you will get even more years. Eight years and sometimes, how much? 13 years after MSc, you'll get to qualify 10 years extra to qualify 10 years extra so 23 years age at msc for 33 years category you'll get 10 years as a girl you have 10 years in your hand after msc to qualify c assignment just think about it how much difficult an exam is you cannot qualify in 10 years of course you can qualify in 10 years if you cannot then you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong you're learning it from a long, wrong person if you're learning it from a right person Doing it the right way, you will qualify. Okay? So if you want to qualify and if you want to join us, our online coaching program, or want to get study material from us, the details are there in our website. The link is in the description and also the number is visible here. You can contact this number. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this in future. Thank you. Bye.